starting a business is quite difficult, but starting a koi business, koi shop here in the desert in the Middle East, Dubai, is next level. Today, I'm visiting Tony and Saya, koi water barn here at the Garden Concept in Dubai. And they're open their brand new store. And we're gonna get a tour of them, including feeding some of the koi fish. Hi, my name's Saya, and I'm the real brains behind this whole operation. I am also Tony Pitam's wife, and I want to introduce you to our new shop at the Beautiful Garden Concept here in Dubai. We opened Koi Water Barn Dubai in 2017, um, and we had a Koi-specific shop in a different area, but we really wanted to create awareness of koi because koi and nishikigoi especially from japan is relatively new to the middle east so we had a display pond here but we really love the vibe and everything that the garden concept stands for we wanted to introduce the public in a in an environment that's calm that has a beautiful cafe that they come and they can see what we do if clients want to come and discuss building upon we can come here sit at the beautiful rose leaf cafe and discuss so in here it's all open plan we have oaza products evolution aqua um, and our pond products and then on the outside you'll see we have our big display pond and we just finally finished five new um, ponds where we've put in new fish that have just arrived from Niigata as well as the Southern Breeders. So here is the beautiful Lucy. She is the head of marketing of Green Valley Holdings, which includes the garden concept. So we work quite closely together. Thank you, Saya. Yes, as Saya introduced me very briefly, I am running the marketing for this brand, the wonderful garden concept. An amazing partner that we have is Saya and her team with the Koi Water Barn, which offers a beautiful, moving art story within our shop of these incredible koi fish which our customers are constantly drawn to they add a huge value they make our brand really stand out against the rest of the competition and children absolutely love seeing the fish all right so one of the great things about being at the garden concept is having families and children visit and we get to introduce and educate kids about nishikigoi where they're from and how to keep them in an interactive and super fun way. So guys, shall we feed the koi now? Okay. Okay, perfect. Stand here, we're each gonna take a handful. Can you take a little? Because they are so beautiful. I agree. So there's gonna be a school tour, the Garden Concept uh, offers school tours so that kids can have an interactive and educational experience, interacting with the plants, learning how to pot and garden. And now we love to get on board and give us an opportunity to educate kids on, again, the origins of koi, how we take care of them, and why they're so special. So yeah, we recently built these uh, new ponds in the Garden Concept to try and expand the knowledge and the offerings of koi in the region. Uh, customers from this uh, excellent garden centre here can now come in and see the koi in, the, in great ponds. Uh, these are filtered by ORZ-M and ORZ-L combi filters, which as you can see, keep the water crystal clear and healthy, more importantly healthy for the koi. Uh, we have koi here from Sakai Hiroshima, uh, little baby ones from about 12 to 14 centimeters that are retailing very uh, competitively at about 125 dirhams. Uh, all, uh, the next pond there, we have fish from a variety of breeders up to around 40 centimeters for 500 dirhams. Uh, and Which is in, in, in euros? In euros, that's about 100 euros. The cheap uh, Sakai ones are selling for about 20 euros. Uh, we have fish 40 to 45 centimeters in the round pond. For, they're on special offer at the moment. Uh, they're down to a thousand dirhams, which is about 200 euros. And then we go up to specialist koi. Uh, we've got koi in stock up to one meter. So, but building these ponds, before this, we just had our display pond here. And then the garden concept gave us the go ahead to build 
these four new ponds, but there was nothing here before. So we wanted to make it just right. And we also wanted to include viewing windows because really, we really believe that the viewing windows um, provide an extra 3D experience and interactive experience. And also, there's more and more people wanting koi now that we've been able to show people that you can actually keep koi. We're wanting to provide different sizes, different varieties, different breeders. And yeah, the people just keep coming. It's great. Okay, here we have a beautiful glass window which displays the bigger koi. Some of these are up to 85 centimeters from Momotaro, from Sakai. Uh, some really nice fish in here in Kahaku, Sanki, Showa, Achiba. Yeah, some beautiful koi in here. So the question, Tony, is can I feed them? Of course you can. Do so you want me to take? No, it's fine. Sure? So this is the fun part of my job, it's okay, like actually yeah. <laughs> feeding the fish. They will, they will eat out of your hand. I like it so much. So these fish are pretty big. Oh, look at that. So what's what's the price of fish like this? Price in here is from about 4,000 dirhams upwards, which is actually quite reasonable for a 70 centimeter to 80 centimeter plus fish. Okay, so these pond guys are filtered by the Oaza L combi. And then we got two M's, right, Tony? That's right, yeah. yeah there's uh, These two ponds here are done by the uh, um, L, mm -hmm. and then the two smaller ponds there are done by the M's. We like to separate the ponds, different filtration. Um, generally, we only keep one breeder's fish in each pond for biosecurity reasons. Uh, so yeah, this is the, uh, we were quite challenged with the space we have here. Uh-huh. So yeah. We were quite challenged with the spaces we have here. So the pipe work and everything's been designed to just fit in. Uh, here we have uh, an Oasi L Combi. Uh, we have the 7,500 Oasi uh, Oxy Pumps. Uh, we have a Bitron Eco 120 UV. Uh, that's that one, huh? Yep. That's this one here, the, uh, the, the UV standing up. Uh, very important is to have good electrical connections and a good DB board, waterproof DB board. Uh, and you can see we have the four inch uh, ball valves here. So we can actually flush the ponds direct to waste uh, if necessary, empty the ponds and fill up if we're treating. Uh, and then, yeah, the, the Oasi filter cleans itself every 60 minutes uh, to give the water perfect cl clarity and uh, give you healthy water. The, you can see the control boxes here. Yeah, over there. Which tell you the, uh, the 28 temperature. degrees Celsius at the moment. Yeah, so we've got 28 degrees Celsius. We can also put a EGC on the Oasi systems in order to control your whole pond system on your phone. There's an Oasi app which allows you to vary the speed of the pump, set the timing, uh, cleaning times on your filter and how long it cleans for. And all in all, great brand. So yeah. yeah. Use. And that's why I work together with the Waza guys. You know, it, they're a partner of my channel, the main partner. I don't have to prove anything to you, but if you looked at the previous videos and how Tony installs it, you get these clear ponds, guys. And that's how it works. Yeah. 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 Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> so for the people that think now this is a promotional video, <laughs> it is some kind of promotional video, yeah. not only for Saya and Tony, but also for the whole koi industry here in the Middle East because there are new areas in the world where we're promoting this, I think still one of the best industries out there, the best hobby. Water, koi and gardens, they relax people. But that's my opinion. And that's why it's so important to promote koi breeders, the Jap Japanese culture everywhere. Even if it's in Europe where this industry is already going on for years, decades, especially new markets like here in the Middle East, Abu Dhabi, Saudi, Dubai. It's all about getting people in touch with this beautiful fish. Yes, it's a promotional video, but I've became friends with Tony and Saya. Um, this is my third or fourth visit now, yeah. I guess. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. yeah we're going to do that uh, in the future as well. We're going to do more pond visits. Uh, we're going to follow Tony and Saya with everything, uh, their pond builds, all their future projects, and they have a lot of things coming up. Some cool things you will see course in the next episodes tomorrow Tony and I are gonna do some koi appreciation which you will see in the next episodes on our channel so 
For now guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Please congratulate Tony and Saya in the comments. Say hi to them. And um, like the video and see you in the next one. Enjoy your koi. Especially that, yes. <laughs>